The active substances in medication are usually only small molecules. In order to be effective, they bind to a protein in the cell, which is how they can block other proteins that are involved in a disease. Hartmut Oshkenet and his team want to know how molecules bind to their target. The structure of proteins that they want to find out reveals this secret. The goal of our research is to demonstrate the processes that happen in a cell on an atomic level. For example, in order to understand the interaction between the proteins and also the mutual manipulation of proteins. Thus getting an idea of what the causes for cancer developing are, or for cardiovascular diseases as a condition, so to speak, so that we can fight it then. Molecules that might play a part in such interactions are examined using NMR, or nuclear magnetic resonance. Oshkenat's team is very well equipped for this. They run the modern NMR center of the institute. Both liquid samples and solid material can be analyzed here. This enables Oshkenat's team to examine the structure and the dynamics of proteins. The protein I have measured is called alpha B crystalline. A special characteristic of this protein is its ability to bind to itself. I can find out these contact points with my measurement. The contact points then enable me to do structure calculations and then I have the structure of the protein. The contact point itself is important for the biological regulation of the protein. If the regulation doesn't work, the consequences can be fatal, especially in the case of the protein alpha-B crystalline. It is located in the human eye. If its function is limited, the lens gets diffused. If the scientists find components in the NMR spectrums that bind especially well to proteins, these will be systematically improved. Oshkenat's colleagues can use the optimized molecules for new research. Data processing is also helpful. Significant models of the interaction of substances and proteins are created on the computer using the NMR structures. The protein structure the protein structure helps us understand the connections between protein sequence, between protein structure and function. Malfunctions are especially helpful for precisely analyzing the connections. And when we have reached these insights, we can develop new ideas in order to do something on a pharmacological level. Hartmut Oshkenat has now found substances that bind to proteins, which play a part in the formation of human diseases. Through small modifications of these substances, other proteins that are relevant to the illness can also be influenced. This creates the basis for developing new active ingredients for treatment.